Come equip, Jimmy never fall back Use a field, nigga, never let them get you off track I've been praying when nobody finna answer me back Only smoking cause I'm stressing about the cancer Relax, god damn it And I can sleep when I'm dead Say they signed me to a deal to put my hood full of lab well, fuck it. Whatever it takes to make a little bread God damn it, nigga, paint the town red You got nowhere to go For all music creators out there You are gonna have your influences And they will shape a bit of your sound And that's okay but when you start finding your own voice, telling the stories that you desperately need to tell, that's when you start getting into your own lane and carving your own bag out. It's a relationship that if you don't feed and you don't tend to, will dissipate. For all the creators out there, brave, be brave, be courageous, and do not let fear become a driver. <laughs> yeah. This creator session with St. James is life-giving. I was introduced to him by a dear friend who I have complete trust in when it comes to most things and most certainly music. She knows this project almost as intricately as I do. And when I asked her to help me book an artist, she didn't even let me finish my sentence before she proclaimed the name St. James. And it will not take you long to understand why she so confidently said, Haley, this will be an amazing creator session. Well, she was right. This is a creator session where I so confidently feel that nothing I say will elevate the message St. James shares. In fact, in all honesty, I don't even feel worthy of introducing him as an artist. He speaks so much life into creators during this session that I just don't want to waste any more time. Young Stevie in the house. Go ahead, talk to him, Stevie. You feel that? Are you still there? Uh. Yeah. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jimmy Show. That's what it is. Uh huh. Live and direct. Check it out. Uh -huh. It's Jimmy. Hands up, hands up, it's the stick of Jimmy taking the throne I've been plotting, I'm scheming since the day I was born But Stevie won no on the record, started dreaming if Larissa found my hustle Same day I found a microphone with nowhere to go Nah, 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 I got nowhere to go Check it, I got me swerved, got me skirt, man, fuck it Neck curves, sipping water from the faucet, yeah Empty hearts, empty bellies, empty pockets And Brody wanna hit the licks at 9 to 5 You're rallying with me while I'm spitting verses in the fucking closet We had the options, get your tickets for the lottery Lorenzo in the kitchen whipping up a lot of way Please, please, Lord, don't let me die today I don't wait no prayer, won't you? Uh, uh, no salvation, yes, so easily found Someone tell me why the hell can't you just figure it out? I got nowhere to go nah, nah, nowhere to go Nigga barely getting by, play the meanest some more He said Jimmy got a lead, told him no, I'm here to stay Got me all dressed up and what a shame, I got nowhere to go You just so special so Let me get them tables up just a little bit. So yes, sir. Oh, you just so special. Yeah. Ain't you just so special? Oh, you just so special, you know. And then it should be repeating. I know I'm great, cause trying not to sound deceited. But fuck it. All dressed up, what a shame, I don't know where to go. And you tell me that things change, things change, and you know where to go. Oh, ain't you just so special? Check it. I got a vision, got a prayer, got a minute. Listen to we on, blowing on the trumpet. Oh, what a wonderful world, I can't trust it. But Pop got two kids to feed, and 80 hours a week. Turn out your dream, what a fitting in the budget. Ain't up for discussion. How you vaping in the grease, my nigga? You can't see the forest for the trees, my nigga. Uh, I guess I fuck what you believe, my nigga. I've been waiting on a prayer, won't you say something? Say 
so. Come equip, Jimmy never fall back. Use a field nigga, never let him get you off track. I've been praying when nobody finna answer me back. Only smoking cause I'm stressing about the cancer relapse. God damn it! And I can sleep when I'm dead. Say they signed me to a deal to put my hood full of lab. Whatever it takes to make a little bread. God damn it, nigga, paint the town red. You got nowhere to go. Yo, ho, salvation just so easily found. Someone tell me why the hell can't you just figure it out? I got nowhere to go. No, nowhere to go. Nigga, barely getting by. I play the meaning some more. Shit. Jimmy gotta leave. Told him no, I'm me to stay. Got me all dressed up and what a shame. I got nowhere to go. Ain't you just so Ain't you just so special? 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 Ain't you just so this song was one of the first tracks I got to do with, um, with Youngin. Youngin, David Youngin Kim um, uh, mixed this track with me and made it into the thing that it is because I had a vision for it. And when this man touched it, everything changed and made me feel like, yo, you can compete and you can battle and you can do this dance and you're worthwhile. And I, it, it, sometimes you do need a cosign for that, but not always. The first cosign you got to have is from yourself. You got to believe like, yo, I think what I make is worthwhile. And then somebody cosigns you and you validates what you believe in. But you, if you needed that validation, you shouldn't be doing that. You should be building for what you believe in. And I believe in this music. And I believe that what we have is special. So special. Like, um, honestly, the story of even getting to make music, I started making music when I was 19. And it was a long journey. I got to make rock and roll. Shout out to my Diverse Link fam right there. Um, and that was my first time ever touching the microphone, never getting on stage. And suddenly this big personality and this wild persona and this big mouth, which used to get me in trouble all the way up until then, still get me in trouble. Uh, but suddenly it had a place and it had a home. And it was on that stage. It's like when somebody put pepperoni on pizza for the first time, it was like, ah, that's where you belong. And somebody put peanut butter on the jelly, they was like, that's that bag right there. So when I got on the stage, it was like, oh, that's where you belong. And you're home. And so I never felt like more at home than I have been on stage in front of complete strangers. You know what I mean? So it's the journey, and we walk in that journey. And I think, Mike B, what's the next song? Yeah, because there's, there's not a lot of cats like me. I'm different, different. And being different, different ain't always a good thing. It's a double-edged sword. So sometimes you got to find your own path. When I first started making music, I was making like rock and roll and reggae and kind of infusing very soulful Motown vibes into that. My family's from Detroit, so we got Motown vibes. That's where we come from. And born in Cali, and I'm a mixed baby, you don't got no white cred and you don't got no black cred. And you're not from the streets, so you don't got no street cred. But you still have to exist in a world that expects those things from you. So this artwork that we have, this medium, helps us convey that story to where this, you the spork. You're not a fork or a spoon, but you, go, you guys still got to feed people. So that's what we're doing. Um, and so like me, we still have our struggles and our issues and let's tell a little story, but let's go into it, shall we? Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's Jimmy. It's Jimmy. it's Jimmy. Get used to that. Check it. Who let these thieves in these cribs to the table just knowing they don't compare? Had to smooth the moves over like waves from nappy hair. Push them all backward like a perm, it's immaculate. I'm high in LA, like them payments for your bachelor's. Bitch, you ain't met a nigga quite like me. <laughs> 
I'm furious as ever, I might fight Tyrese And raise up like Nipsey did up in them Corsair seats I'm only tryna do the right thing with no Spike Lee I dig it, ah, you ain't met a nigga quite like me You ain't met a, you ain't met a nigga quite like me Made a nigga quite like me. G made it, G made a nigga quite like it's Jimmy. These harsh nights got me tossing and turning. No rest for the wicked, no shade tree for the burning. Marching on, marching on like Montgomery, Alabama song. Give it all you can. Here comes a new challenge up away. I'm just trying to catch a vibe, Sim Sim. Uh. Be careful when you ride, Sim Sim. Uh. It's just Jimmy arrived, Sim Sim. Uh. I see your pockets on the dice, Slim Slim. G made a nigga quite like me. Did we all just disappear like Mike did in 9-3? I'm coming back as strong as like Chappelle in 13 You know success ain't never free, gon' have to believe for that dream Now hold up! He ain't met a nigga quite like me He ain't met a, he ain't met a nigga quite like me He ain't met a nigga quite like me He ain't met a, he ain't met a Let the motherfuckers know, Jimmy! I'm sick and tired of being told to shush up Had to earn my street cred doing a hundred million push-ups Till nobody want the grind, they want the hook up this narrative got me shook up Y'all got my pop scared of everything for no good reason Swimming pools in retirement Got the men sleepless This hip-hop environment is guilty of treason They been sleeping on my pen like them slept on impeachment Precisely what the fuck a young man to believe in Just be black and die of a liver disease I'm feeling better than ever, boy, it's all in the breathing Got all your chickies fiending like Wiggy, they leaking Ride the red queens, race roller coaster Too many waiting on the ladder for promotion Why ain't Ain't nobody dancing in the ocean Ain't no foggy mirrors written love notes and shit uh, Too focused on turn up times I we leave in the morning Too many girls don't know what it means to be daughters Too many lost boys on the front lines of tyranny I hope my niggas be me by with Jimmy lyrically But damn, too much to ask for An overweight suitcase and stretch marks in my passport Damn, trying to put my feet in the sand And there I stand, make another hundred grand Why you ain't mad a nigga quite this true? I've been praying for the day God say you and keep you And we create the culture, tell me why do we need you, uh And tell me why do we need you, yeah You ain't mad a nigga quite like G You ain't mad a nigga quite like me You ain't mad a nigga quite like You ain't mad a nigga quite like me Like me, hold on Like me, like me like me, you ain't got nobody quite like me The enemy is seeking out your whole energy Ain't y'all waiting on Jimmy to come and save all your peace Ain't y'all waiting on the streets to teach you how to reach, 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 reach Up to the sky and understand for your purpose Hold them up in Jesus and they make sure your ass hurt It's finna be a resurrection here in the morning Now they pulling back the curtain, see the beast where it's lurking, wait You ain't met a nigga like me Na na, na na, like me, na like me, na na na, na na, na like me, na na na, uh, na like me, like me, like me, like me, na na na, yeah, na na like me, na na na, na like me, like me, like me, na na na, yeah, na na like me, like me, like me, like me, na na like me nah not like me it's jimmy so with that song it came out of something i started doing which was like a, a practice at uh, my morning pages and i learned morning pages from from j cole j cole put an interview out and he was like I write my morning pages every morning. So I started doing this and um, a poem came out where I was discussing like my frustration with the culture and my frustration with um, not being able to say my piece. And so my frustration with like how my success is effectively determined for like, you know, wouldn't it be nice if you could buy your own man a house, make sure he could retire, have peace, you know what I'm saying? And so these drudgeries that we go through where we work a nine to five and then your pop works a nine to five for his whole life and he tells you son you got to go get a job and you work a nine to five your whole life and it's this vicious cycle that don't ever change until somebody interrupts said cycle that's my job because i have the capacity to think it therefore i have the capacity to build it so 
my job is to change this generational curse of uh, non-progressive thinking. And so I do that. I feel like the greatest medium for that was hip hop because it's our culture's greatest natural resource, in my opinion. I made that journal like a, a bestie. And so I could tell the bestie anything. So it was just going, right? And the bestie's not gonna tell me, yo, these bars are trash. <laughs> but I do got homeboys, and they was like, yo, these bars are trash. <laughs> no, 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 no. They said, they said, you know, because traditionally I'm a vocalist, and they said, yo, dude, don't rap. I don't know. I don't know if that's your bag. I don't see that on you. Like, you don't gotta rap. And I was like, all right, well, all right. Should I not? Can I not? Is it because I can't? Well, I don't know. And then everyone else's voice started feeding into my head. You know what I mean? So the first couple trials of it was just like, no, that's not good enough. And I knew. I knew I had to stand up for what I wanted it to be. So I was like, okay, we can do better than that. I know because I've done it before. You know what I mean? And, but when you get into that rhythm, it is very much like a muscle. Writing is very much like a muscle. You put it down too long, you're going to forget how to do it. So you commit to it. You do it every day and it never leaves you. And this is difficult when you get a song that hits or you, when you finish a record and you're like very proud of that record, you'll listen to it again and you'll not be writing. And you'll be hype on it and you'll not be writing. So you gotta stay humble and be like, right, but I only got here because of my commitment to this pen and pad. So I stay committed to the pen and pad. And that relationship feeds you existentially. So commit, you'll be good, you'll be gold. That being said, my idols are the greats. My idols are Black Thought. My, my idols, Jay-Z, you know, Cole, Kendrick. These cats are the greatest of the greats. M, you know what I'm saying, Rakim, you know. Uh, these cats are the best of the best. And so the, I had to do a certain amount of work to get my pen game acumen up to its, to its due. Because I'm not going to step into this people's arena and not come prepared. So for an entire summer, summer 16, in fact, I wrote two 16s a day every day for the entire summer. And if they was trash, they was trash. It didn't matter. It was just like the practice of getting my bars up. And because I have a standard for what I know it's got to be, and until it's that and until I'm satisfied with that, then we still working. So I hammer away at my craft daily, and I, and I commit to that. I'm married to the game. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but in that process, you start learning about how the working so hard makes it so you don't have to work so hard. Um, and, the, and, the, and the muse comes naturally. I, I, I kind of relate it to being in a rowboat and trying to row your way to the shore and then learning how to set a sail and letting the wind carry you to shore. You see what I'm saying? It's still the journey. You just figured out a way to move out of the way and let these things do the work for you. Let your subconscious do the work for you. Let your practice do the work for you. Let these things that you have committed to it take you there. And then you trust that process. You see what I'm saying? You always have your oars if you need them. If the wind is not blowing, you always have your oars and you can always get there. But the journey is designed about grace and getting there without... Um, you know, making it as, as difficult as humanly possible. Don't shoot your face off, you know what I'm saying? Just don't shoot your nose off to spite your face, right? Um, all, that to, all that to say is that I fell in love with, I fell in love with wordplay when I was a boy. Um, and that way that has developed into manhood is a responsibility. The difference between children and, and adults is adults have to take responsibility. So if you have a gift that's been given to you, you have to take responsibility for that gift. So I'll never forget, I was, uh, I was working because in order to try and pay for this career idea I had, I said, okay, well, how can I make the most money in the least amount of days? I said, you could be a firefighter, you can be a nurse. So I went to fire school and I finished fire school. And they were like, yeah, they're hiring in Oregon. And I was like, bruh, I live in LA. So, <laughs> so they said, check out nursing. And so I got my nursing degree. The most Guinness Book of World Records, the most difficult degree to, to get. I went and got that. And instead of four years, it took me three because I'm committed and because that shit was expensive. <laughs> and in that process, I became an RN. And it's a skill set and I keep with me and I take care of people. And that's something I love to do. I love to take care of my people. And also because I know my energy is useful in that space. 
especially where people carry a lot of fear and a lot of doubt and a lot of hesitancy in that space. Look, we friends and we finna be friends and I can fix that. So I have a responsibility to do so. Well, one day, one of my OG nurses was like, listen, one day you're not gonna be able to do this. So what are you gonna do after that? Are you preparing for that? And we was talking about investment and stuff like that. And I thought that was a bright conversation that went deep. But then they asked me, okay, 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 well, let's set it all aside. If money was no object and you couldn't be a nurse anymore, what are you doing? I'm doing rock and roll. I'm designed to be on the stage. That's not a question. The universe designed me this way. I did not have to take a class to have this personality, to have this obsession with words. I, it came with me in a backpack on, onto my journey to the earth. That's how I got here. And this big old mouth that get me in all kind of trouble saves my life regularly on this stage. Um, so I commit to that and I take responsibility for that. And as soon as that eye-opening moment happened with my OG nurse and said, yo, if that sounds like that's what you need to be doing. So I started investing in myself and we started writing more bars and we started getting into it and we started committing to the craft. So obviously like the transition from um, work life to passion life is complicated um, at best. Um, but really what happened was, um, I didn't know where to go to, to get started. Cause I was like, Oh, I got to get a band. Um, and then I was like, I had all these grandiose visions because what I know about making music came from what I was taught. And that was from my guys, like my guys taught me, musicians taught me how to make music. And so I lean on that expertise. So I'm not, I wasn't always like real comfortable with making music off beats or things like that. I was used to catching a vibe in a room, just like this, just like this. And so when I wanted to do that, my first step was that I went to the community college because there's always learners and there's always players and there's always cats like, you know, there's a vibe in, in, in a community college. So if you want to learn how to do anything, you could start there. If you didn't know where to start on any passion project, you could go to the JC and find something and find a lead that would take you down a rabbit hole and find like-minded people to connect with. I would definitely use that as a resource. So then from that point on, I got into this gospel choir and I was vibing with all these great church players. They're fantastic. And... Um, you know, we, we caught a vibe and then we started making some tunes and I, and I met a cat through friends of friends. And um, my man, shout out to my man Maximo, one of the greatest um, producers on the planet. The dude's magnificent, great player. Um, and we made a record and it was just all hodgepodge of just great ideas, great ideas, great ideas. And we felt the music, but it lacked a little bit of authenticity or it lacked a story. And so then that's when it became down to like, okay, now... I feel this hip hop energy coming out of me and I'm, I'm, I felt myself through that whole record process holding it back. And so I was like, all right, I'm trying to give what's best for the song and I'm also trying to give what comes naturally. So those two things were like coming, at it, uh, coming to a head. And so I stopped, you know, this is learning to let go, learning to move out of your own way. Uh, I let go and I moved out of my own way and I just let what I wanted to come out, come out. And I wrote a song called Jealous. And that was like the first Top to, top to bottom, um, must be sight. <laughs> they watch your IG story way too closely. Uh, must be snipers out here where they scoping. Yeah, bitch. Thought you were leaking this. Thought you was deep in this. Thought you could speak on this. Like, what you know about my scene? Uh, blurry eyes, knee visine. Yeah. Wait till they see my seeds. These apples never fall far from the tree. Goddamn. Should have never gave you a microphone. Should have left your high yellow ass alone. Yeah, sound like reruns. Finna have an episode two. When attack all you clones, I'm deep like red bone. Cold, no features. Cortez on my feet, cuz. But you not street enough. I'm just heating up. I shouldn't leave it up. You heard? Your girl look at me like a bully from the way that I be treating her. Cause first I eat the lunchbox up, then I beat them guts up and she'll never be speaking her. Yeah, she ain't seen enough. Now for me, I'm just getting down. Sick as f I'm feeling better now. Stratosphere is where I'm headed now. Put my city up and I can't let them down. When I come out, they be screaming loud. Tupac 2.0, I get around. Ooh. Bust a marathon in a hurry stand. Still look blurry, run the town. Steph Curry like, whoo, you jealous? And that was like my first first. So that was like my baby and I carried that. And then, it, you know, learning the game. I, then I had to learn the game. I had to learn getting samples and getting licenses and getting rights and things like that. 
And so it all just developed, you know, you take a journey and you take, you put one foot in front of the other and you, a lot of us get concerned with the finish before we get concerned with the step that's right in front of you. And unfortunately, it's where we get a lot of grandiosity. It gets too big because you have two demons that you have to address in this game. In the creativity game, you have to address fear and you have to address doubt. Those two demons will be with you for your career, period. We don't ever beat our demons. We rise above them and you do things to put them in their proper place. Fear is a wonderful co-pilot and a terrible pilot. You let fear do the driving, you won't go nowhere. A wonderful co-pilot. Hey, I don't think we should thank you for your advice, but I got shit to do, okay? Boom. So, and as you address fear, you understand that courage is a wonderful ingredient in this process. You have to have the courage to put your heart on the line, tell the truth to your pages, tell that story, and then share it with other people. That takes courage. That's not, you can't be courageous without having fear. Can't even know what courage is unless I've been afraid. I'm scared to death of being broke like the chains on a lion's cage. You know what I'm saying? Like, that thing can't happen with one without the other. And so therefore, you have to submit to that part of the journey. Yeah, you're going to be afraid sometimes. What you finna do about it? Yes, you're going to doubt yourself at times. The only remedy for doubt is preparation. If you were scared about the test you had to take, you would study your ass off. And when you studied your ass off, you would walk in with a certain swag. Like, nah, bro, I know this stuff. I know this stuff backward and forward. Put whatever question in front of me. I'm finna bag this. Like, I got this. And that preparation completely erased that doubt. Put that doubt in its proper place. So without preparation, without you committing to your craft and doing the work, do the work and watch your doubt dissipate and your confidence elevate. It's that ebb and flow. You, your doubt will come in. It'll force you to work harder and practice more and prepare more. And then it'll do that ebb and flow. And the creation that comes out of that is confidence. And you walk into a room like, like can't nobody tell you shit. And that's exactly how you should walk into the room. Because when they tell you something, the only person, the only voice telling you back that's pushing back against all that onslaught of doubt and hate and opinions is your little voice saying, yeah, but I think you're all right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so therefore we get into our faith and everyone can have their faith on any God, on any um, religion or what have you, but your faith comes from a belief in a thing that you can't necessarily see. But I can see this, and I have faith in this, and I believe in this, and I believe that I was designed to do this. So if you told me Santa Claus was outside the door and I believed it, then that motherfucker's there and he's ready to drop some presents. So, but as far as faith in oneself, it's the primary ingredient. Start with believing in you. And start with giving it a shot. And uh, you'd be surprised what that would do. So uh, there's real fingerprint in what we do. I akin a lot of hip hop to like stand up comedy. You know what I'm saying? Like the Chappelle's of the world, like the Robin Williams of the world. These cats are like my idols. These cats raised me, okay, for sure. And Robin Williams says something like stand up comedy is the only profession where you can use everything you know. You can use more than you know. You can use what you think Chappelle would add. And I love that. And then the dichotomy is that really what hip hop and stand up comedy have in common is you get up on stage and you get a mic and you talk your shit. And you do it the best way you can. Some people laugh, some people cry, some people get their head knocking. But the long story short is that, the long story long is that that's the game. You get up here and you talk your shit, but you can use everything you know. And you got to, you just put it in the page and your experience has a value to someone else out there as how it's designed. We are designed to be together. We have ears to listen and we have mouths to speak. We have inputs and outputs, right? So you're designed to be a part of a society and a culture. And so this is our culture and hip hop. I take you, I'll take you to the bank every day of the week. You the sweetest thing that ever happened to me, hip hop. And I'm so grateful for you. So Changed my life. Let's go. Uh, hip hop raised me. Am I, I mean, am I lying? Like, taught me how to dress myself. Taught me how to greet my friends. Hip hop did that, right? Taught me how to answer the phone. Yo, it's good. <laughs> That's that joy. Let's do it.
do another song. Do we got another song? I think so. We got some bounce on them? I think we got Give me some bounce, DJ okay. Mike B. Yeah, yeah, oh Lord. Yeah, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Yeah, it's Jimmy. Yeah, oh my, oh my Lord, oh Lord. Wait, they go again. They go again. Yeah, they go again. Uh, I think Jimmy lost his mind. Nah, nah, they go again. They go again. They go again. Oh my, oh my Lord, oh Lord. They go again. They go again. Yeah, they go again. They told me sky was just a limit. Yeah, said I promised I would hit him. Yeah, are you niggas taking shots? But my shot, the game winner. Yeah, came up here to toast. My Negro excellence, we live it. Yeah, yeah. I'm my bad. Can we start that again? I got caught up in myself. I was feeling myself for a minute. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I was feeling myself. Start it again. <laughs> start it again, Mike B. Lord, oh Lord. It's you. Yeah. Oh Lord. Dirty. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Hey. It's Jimmy. Yeah. Oh my, oh my Lord. Yeah, they go again. Uh, I think Jimmy lost his mind. Nah, nah, they go again. They go again. They go again. Oh my, oh my Lord, oh Lord. They go again. They go again. They go again. Yeah, they told me sky was just a limit. Yeah, said I promised I would hit him. Yeah, I heard you niggas taking shots. Uh, but my shot, the game winner. Yeah, yeah, I came up here to toast. My Negro excellence, we living. Yeah. Not to listen, me, you know, I'm paying back my hood beginners. Yeah, no, we don't shoot, we shed a light. Popping no fool, raging me right. Run me them jewels when I'm killing Mike. We ain't why you out here killing vibes. That's on God, I'm moving fast. <laughs> yeah, I'm on your ass. Only real ones finna last. All you other niggas say your prayers like, oh my Lord, oh Lord. They go again, they go again. Yeah, they go again. Promise I never will lose. Promise I live for the crew. Promise I came up here to win line since sin town. Jimmy been down. Promise I'll never put the pen down. About to blow, 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 blow. Niggas calling me Chicago win now. Reason why you been staying in now. Oh my lord, oh lord. There you go again with the flashback. I've been burning hearts, no Zantac. Plus my ego fing gigantic. Came out the womb with all that shit. What I'm gonna do with all that hype? I don't mind feeling so sublime. Easy living, summer, summertime. Hold up. Put the bling on now before I switch lanes. Put some far sighted. Let me polish up them frames. Only with the bitches, yeah, you got the big brains. I'm a super freak, baby. Come on, St. Rick James. Oh my, oh my lord, wait, they go again, yeah. Had to hit them with the swiftness, like Taylor. I'ma let you finish. All I know, body feel representing Jimmy. Mafia trying to sin for Jimmy. Shots fired, they was meant for Jimmy. Bullets like these hoes that he missing me. Wait, 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 wait. They go again. I spit that voodoo, deja vu. They be like, they go again. I burn my gums on flames. I spit, shoot my mouth off, talk my shit. Hype as fuck. Boy, throw my fist, I cut that loose like click, 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 click. Ooh. Oh my lord, they go again. Yeah, they go again. Yeah, they go again. I think Jimmy lost his mind, and nobody understands. Nobody will survive. Nah, nah, they go again. They run out my mouth, run out my mouth. Ooh. They go again. Speaking my mind, speaking my mind. Yeah. They go again. I promise I'm on my, on my hype. I promise I'm bona, bona fight. Come with my squad, I got on mine like God Almighty, God Almighty, oh my Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord. Oh Lord. Ooh. 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 Oh my Lord, oh Lord. They go again, they go again. Yeah, they go again. I think Jimmy lost his mind. Nobody understands, but nobody will survive. Nah, nah, there you go again. Yeah. Talking to church right there, yeah? Feels good. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not sure if it's like apparent or it's evident. I'm in my bag right now. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, I'm in my bag. It's like somebody, it's like, you know, when you've been away from home for a long time and you come home for like Thanksgiving and everybody there and the food is hot? You know what I'm talking about? Like, 
That's how it feels right now. Sweet baby Jesus. Sweet little six, six pound, eight ounce baby Jesus. You know what I'm saying? So, O Lord is one of the examples of getting out of the way. I was working, I was working at the VA and I got a an opportunity to go get everybody lunch. So I, I, I was out of the office effectively. I got to drive and it was a beautiful day outside and this beat came on and man, I just lost it. I was like, ugh, and I freestyle a lot to catch my vibe. So part of my process is that when I write, sometimes I'm too particular and detailed. So sometimes I freestyle so I can catch the energy and just let it go. And then I record all that and then I'll start sorting through the details. So it's part of my process. Uh, a lot of things you can't catch by trying to force it as opposed to reacting to the music. You got to remember as an artist, you are in service of the song. That means the song has to come before you. That means your players got to know how to respect space and you have to be able to respect time, balance, etc. So you're in service of the song. So anyways, I freestyle sometimes to try and catch the energy and catch the vibe. And then... In this particular space, I'm driving, get everybody lunch, and I just caught a vibe on this song. This song got written in 20 minutes, and it was like start to finish. I just loved it. I, was, I called home, and I was like, I got a banger. I got That's it. I got a banger on me, right? And uh, I was just hype with it. I was just very hype with it. And that process was just like learning to get out the way. Mind you, this is also the culmination of every single day, every single morning, give my coffee, write my two pages, and just expressing myself in that book. Your book is like your best friend. You could tell her anything, and she'll never tell a secret, right? <laughs> the best, the best. All my dogs never speak, all my birds never tweet, check it. Uh, follow my lead, this team no days off in the belly of the beast. Um, so, in our process, you catch a lot of that. You have to find your process. It's something you have to um, ask of yourself because everyone's process is different. First of all, work is work. And you got to do what you got to do. Every, every artist in here knows what they got to do for money. Okay? And you got to do what you got to do for money. But we, we're, we're talking about all of life is an investment. So you invest in the things that you care about. Okay? And if you invest in your craft, then if you invest in, in the things that make you money or the, or the things... Whatever you invest your time in can ultimately eventually make you money. You just have to make sure you position yourself right. So right now, I can still work. I can still pull up. I'm a per diem emergency room nurse. So that means I can work per day. If I can get a shift, I get a shift. If I need to get a shift, I can do that. In the uh, season of, you know, um, things we've been through in 2020, it was a lot. And we had to everyone, everyone had to pivot. Pivot. And... Um, I pivoted into that RN move, back into that because I was out. I, I, I was that was I just started my brand online, and we were doing shows. And I just got a residency. It was dope, and then everything shut down, and then so I was like, okay, I picked up the scrubs again, and we went back to work. And I in through the, through 2020, um, I probably you know uh, did pretty well for myself financially. But that again, only thing that did for me was not like. Okay, great. Now I can take time off. It was like, wonderful. Now I can get back to work. You know what I'm saying? And we had resources. So you have to play the ebb and flow. But when you're married to it, when you're committed to it, that means you're going to go through your highs and lows and you always come back. You always come back home. Um, and if that's not a part of your agenda to be like, listen, you either love it or you don't love it. And if you can put it down and leave it there forever, you don't love it. You don't love it. And to love a thing is to know a thing. To love a thing is to know a thing, and to know a thing is to love a thing. You watch a baby with her mama, she can tell you what's going on with that baby by the cry. Oh, that's the hungry cry. Oh, that's the diaper change cry, right? They know it. And so you got to know your craft like she know that baby. You know what I'm saying? Let's say you got a girlfriend and she gets drunk on Saturday nights and then it's like, I want Del Taco. And you're like driving like, no, because every Sunday morning you wake up and you complain about a stomach ache from eating Del Taco. I'm not taking you there. You don't control my life. And I'm like, yeah, but I know better. I know you. I know what's going to happen next. So I'm going to do the things that are necessary, that are right for you, even if it makes me the bad guy right now. Be mad at me, but you'll feel better in the morning. 
okay? And then it's going to be sugar and kisses all over my face because you know what I'm saying? I love you. That's what it is. When you love a thing, you know a thing. You dive into the intricacies of it and you want to know it backward and forward so that if it ever gets off center, you know how to bring it back to center because you know what center is because you know it. You dig? Y'all know what I'm talking about. Like, this ain't new news. This is just my perspective. And I'm grateful to be able to share. I know that you just got blasted with knowledge, but here are some highlights from me because it would be impossible to pick my favorite thing that came from this session, whether that be lyrically, creatively, or when it felt like he was just speaking into my soul as a creator. St. James says, if you have a gift that's been given to you, you have to take responsibility for that gift. He also says that the transition from work life to passion life is complicated at best. And this community of creators knows that better than anyone. Too many of us are concerned with the finish before we get concerned with the step that's right in front of us. Do the work and watch your doubt dissipate and your confidence elevate. As creators, you have to address fear and doubt. And courage is a necessary ingredient to making it all come together. I could go on and on, but then this outro wouldn't be that. It wouldn't be an outro. Here's what I know. Creators like St. James will not stay hidden. They just can't. This is a session where I feel so grateful to even be associated with some of the wisdom that was shared today. My entire goal with this series is to bring you creators that can teach you something. And without a doubt, I know that I did my job with this session. Let's go ahead and jump into this next song. Um, this is the lead track off my very first EP as your boy Jimmy. This is Savages. Savages is my baby. It was one of the first of Blue Magic's beats I ever heard, and I was like, yes, sir, I can do this. Yes, I can. I believe in myself, and doggone it, I'm handsome. You know, you just got to tell yourself all kinds of things, you know what I mean? <laughs> So savages was like my interpretation of they call us savages and they called us as a community savage folk and the savages things have happened upon us. Can we tell the story right? So just my interpretation and artistic representation of the juxtaposition of the word savages to feel it um, pushed upon you and to understand what it's like to live in the world that's equally as savage. And frankly, you have to be a savage for your goals. You have to hunt your goals. You have to be aggressive to your goals. They're not going to drop in your lap because you are nice. You're going to be aggressive to your goals, and that's how you're going to go hunt them down. You have to sniff them out. You have to trail them. You have to track them. You have to be aggressive. You have to try. So we try hard every day. Can we get some savagery in this joint? I just need some feeling like it's, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, you get him? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, it's Jimmy. Uh, two beanies to your name now. Nah. Check. You got nobody to blame now. Nah. Nickels for your thoughts, dimes for your kids. A dollar if you shake your phone up. Savages. Step up to the auction block, yeah, you missed the symbol. Cut down your whole family tree, hung you on that branch though. Now you riding now, super black Lambo. Wings up, dips up, windows dipped in camo. Now you can't stand to see your ass succeed, not for no one to uh. An operator standing by, what you waiting for uh. You dialing every single number for the come up, but good sir, 911, they come looking for you. They sending heavy infantry to knock up on your door. Not compliance, how you feel in cemetery hole? Too many strangers waiting on you to forgive their sins. They only pray for you as long as you gon' pray for them. Now, ooh, shame, shame on the sinners. The sinners and the saints point the fingers to the end. Where shall I begin? Order the court to pay damages. You f***ing with the wrong one. Uh, nigga, we savages. Dream a little, uh, I dream a lot. Hold all that dream and stop when Nipsey got shot. Now we all running the marathon, racing the clock. Took our sorrows and we straight to the block. It's burning hot. I'm complicit with this criminal mission. They got you flipping your thoughts and wishes into ambitions. They got you pissing into pots and pins. Try to understand. My whole body's full of crack bottles and sand. No time to waste these days. Uh, switch blade to your neck though. Bayonets just stand a 
this you, that's life in the ghetto, straight up uh. My nigga count your blessings, cause the way they count in bodies Bang, bang, learn to let go My nigga double, he got mugged back in Jersey They was that pistol to his temple like he wasn't worthy Now relieve your spirit, boy, of everything earthly That's when the savages start circling I hear them scream out That's when the savages start circling I hear them scream out that's when the savages start circling, I hear them scream out yeah. That's when the savages start circling, I hear them scream out That's when the savages start circling, I hear them scream out Hi yeah, yeah, hi yeah, hi yeah, all hell the new chief Rock eagle feathers and we tough as in your feet uh, They caught you sleeping on the wrong side of the street It's just another black hawk down, he rescuing like Soon as said our weapons free Then all my niggas cooking up these government conspiracies All every day they remember me, uh They swear to God they gonna get rid of me We savages uh, And lyrically I chew them up, I shit they bones Only weapon in my arsenal was this here microphone God rest they precious souls This race all whack MCs Y'all look so damn big to bow Lots of cowboys rounding up these MDs now We could use a few braves on the reservation Headed for the war path, stamp your feet to the ground Sisters, don't let us down. We circle around. I'm with the savages. Savages, 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 savages. I'm with the savages. I'm with the savages. I'm with the savages. They singing like, hi, yeah, yeah, hi, yeah, yeah, all held a new chief. Rock eagle feathers and put tuffers in your feet. Uh, caught you sleeping on the wrong side of the street. Just another black hawk down, he rescuing like, whoa. It's another black hawk down, you rescuing like whoa. It's just another black hawk down, you rescuing like whoa. It's just another black hawk down, you rescuing like ooh. Damn, got me, bro. <laughs> she's beautiful, bro. Yeah, she's beautiful. I think um, I think I um, the 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 beautiful thing about this journey is that you get to make a lot of memories, and the better memories you make, the better your quality of life. Some would say so. It's like a currency, right? You spend good money on good memories. You know what I mean? And uh, this is my greatest currency: the, the gift of kindness, the gift of strangers, and the gift of music, and to be able to contribute to that is um, something I would definitely want to be part of my legacy. And anybody that knows me knows the boy's at home on that stage giving what he was designed to give his very best. And so I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this work, and I'm just very grateful for to be here with y'all. Because uh, I felt like I owed it to hip-hop. Because it, it wasn't for me. I had to do it for the culture. Cause see, the game was sound asleep. Okay, so let's pull them up this Folgers. It's the best part of being woke. Power is the slippery slope. All these babies signing deals is caught up in the yoki dope, right? They shaking dice like a casino. Mind my own business, frog. Sipping tea, leave me alone. Working till I can't no more. Just so when I'm gone, all my people got a good reason to go on missing Lolo. I'm that best kept secret. New Illuminati flow. Galileo mind state. That renaissance be on me, though. I dove into the pen and pad to frame the dichotomy. I got bars like it's prison rules. Salvation and sodomy, yeah. You ain't a fan of St. James? Well, boy, you ought to be. Jealous niggas, man, they ain't been working on it properly. Half-stepping, style snaking, cultural appropriate. Who let the outside in and what's the policy on immigration, hmm? Got me upside down, like Spanish question mark. You ain't want me winning? Don't get me started. The world's a stage, right? Go play your part. And somehow, Jimmy, the one that ended up coming up short, my Lord. Call him Kevin Hart. 
These rappers got a habit of thinking they so important. I could never hear a G-E-Z record and still be better for it. Nah, I actually think you're trash. Ain't nothing metaphoric. Whoa, you got reservations. Whoa, steady making plans. Jimmy was a wonderful choice like I am Sam. Been hawking way too long at your lady's Instagram. Got you wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing and wishing on me. Check, call it God's plan. Got an awful lot to say, but nobody understands all the stuttering mumble rappers. Come on, son, stop it now. Sh -sh Shut the fuck up, boy. The grown ups is talking now. Most of y'all ain't saying shit. Steady shooting off your mouth. Shout out to the school kids speaking up by walking out. Pistols, pistols, politicians, favorite thing to talk about. Till it's in your mouth. You ain't talking now. My niggas carry heat to get their groceries. All my dogs never speak. All my birds never tweet. Check it. Follow my lead. It's Chino days off in the belly of the beast. I got family run a block like it's south side Chicago. Meanwhile, I got my head in the clouds. I'm on a high note. Tuskegee Airflow. Flyest kid that I know. So high, I could do world tours on frequent flyer miles. Still, my goal is Independence Day. Shout out to Young Chano. I'm going to sit up here and do it by myself if I got to. Goddamn, boy. Goddamn. Killing in the name. You got a squad full of pussy niggas, and that's a shame, huh? Yeah, that's a shame. All them hoes got you jammed up, Lady Marmalade. I said, what? I said, all them hoes got you jammed up, Lady Marmalade. Can't even know what courage is unless you've been afraid. I'm scared to death of being broke like the chains on a lion's cage. Niggas die every day just to try and find a way. You took my pen and pad today, that'd be an early grave for me. Shout out to hood niggas on that do or die. And Wells Fargo niggas steady living in a suit and tie, right? Shout out to pushes that's whipping, man, I ain't tripping. Shout out to Sunday morning niggas trying to keep it Christian. I got ambitions for more than paying tuitions. I could say this plenty louder, but is anybody listening, huh? Can I hear it from the team? I said, is anybody listening? Because look, because Jimmy shine like the star. Cut the lights and watch me glisten straight up. I love y'all. Thank you so much. It's, um, it's your boy, St. James. It's Jimmy. This is my creative sessions. Love y'all. You can catch me though. Y'all gonna have to catch me at some point in time at Enjoy St. James. We like to spell it all out because people get so phonetically challenged these days. I apologize in advance, but Enjoy St. James, S-A-I-N-T-J-A-M-E-S. For those that wanna know, James is my middle name and I've always felt like it was the best version of myself. And that's what this iteration is. This is me at my very best self. So they call him James. And uh, I'm very proud of that. So y'all can catch me at Enjoy St. James on IG and everywhere else on the planet. And I'm sure if you just type in stjames.com, S-N-T-J-M-S.com, you'll find me everywhere else. So come holla at me and come see about me. See what we cooking in this kitchen because the veal is always up to some trouble. <laughs> shout out to my man, Youngin. And shout out to my, my fan back home, um, DJ Release. DJ Help Me. Um, shout out to my family, my loved ones, Fats, and my baby girl Ava on Father's Day. Love y'all.